Our sixth stop on our winter trip was at Phillips Park Campground in Stewart, Florida, which sits along the Okeechobee Waterway. We enjoyed the waterfront view that many of the campsites provide. Come check it out with us. We're Dave and Karen from Watts on Wheels, and we sold our sticks and bricks to RV full-time now that we are retired. We travel with our heavy-duty truck Leroy, our two K&M motorcycles, our DRV Dixie, and our smart car Zippy. Don't forget to subscribe and click on that bell to be notified when we post a new video. One quarter mile, arrive at 2175 Southwest Locks Road on the right. Yep, sure. Arriving at 2175 Southwest Locks Road on the right. So that's our check-in spot. We're 35. Oh, which way do I got to go? Here? Straight. You're going to go straight all the way back. Phipps Park was recently renovated and is a 55-acre conservation and campground area. The campground provides opportunity for fresh and or saltwater fishing and is open year-round. Amenities include 99 RV sites that are equipped with full electric service, water, sewer, picnic tables, and a fire ring. They also have a fishing pier, boat ramp, boat dock, waterfront boardwalks and pathways, restrooms with showers, laundry facilities, picnic pavilions, and they have firewood available for sale. Also, Wi-Fi is available. The park opens at 6 a.m. and closes at 7.30 p.m. Campers are provided a gate code to enter and exit after hours. November 1st through April 30th, the RV sites are $60 per night. May 1st through October 31st, they're $50 per night. November 1st through April 30th, interior RV sites are $50 per night. And May 1st, October 31st, they're $45 per night. You can make your reservations online at martin.fl.us slash FIPS. You can choose the site that you want. We ended up parking Leroy, our truck, right across from us in the parking lot. Things you need to know. Maximum of two vehicles per site. A trailer or motorcycle may be kept on site in place of the second car. Use of screws and nails is not permitted in trees or park property. Use of pallets or scrap lumber for firewood is not permitted. Quiet hours are from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. Laundry room hours are from 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. Check-in time is 3 p.m. Check-out time is 11 a.m. No smoking within 50 feet of all buildings. Campsites are designated to hold a maximum of six people. There is a limit of two pets per campsite. Pets must be kept on the campsite or be restrained with at least six feet or less. Games and activities can be checked out from the Phipps Park office by simply using your first name and campsite number. There is a 90-day maximum stay for RV camping per calendar year. So they have this whole, like, tent city where they have the tents here. You don't have to bring yours. You can just rent theirs. You do have to um, park in the regular campground area and haul your stuff across the bridges. Alligators and snakes in the area. No swimming. More tents down here. Is there a path? Oh. Yeah. Okay. 
to like walk across that bridge. I'm just going to check it out down here. Never been to a campground where they have tents that you can rent. They have a unique area with 19 adventure tent sites, which are equipped with a 10 by 10 canvas tent, grill, picnic table, and fire pit. Adventure tent camping is a unique getaway for those that like to camp in a tent but don't want the hassle to have to bring and set up a tent. All sites include a 10 by 10 canvas tent with insect protection screens, grill, picnic table, fire pit, and water views. The adventure tent rates are $45 per night November 1st through April 30th and $35 per night May 1st through October 31st. One thing to consider if you want to use the adventure tents is there is no vehicle access to that area. There is also no electricity or water currently available at the site, so you need to make sure your equipment is battery or solar powered. They do provide carts so that you can bring your items from the parking lot to the tent area. Pets are not allowed overnight at the adventures tents area. For reservations, you go to their website at martin.fl.us slash FIPS. You'll see a couple of pictures, and they will have a place here for a campground map, directions, the transformation that this park has taken, and of course this top button here is to make a reservation. So if you click on make a reservation, on the left-hand side they'll ask you what dates I'm putting in for May. For two adults, no children, zero pets. And I want to go to an RV site with one vehicle, 45 foot, and slides on both sides. Click on search availability. It tells me that there's more than one waterfront site available and more than one interior site available. I want waterfront, so I click on that. And I can blow up this map. And anything in green is available. Red is not available. Don't know what the light blue is. So let's say I want to go down here on the end for site 24. It tells me it's 55 foot maximum. Back in site with waterfront views, 5030 electrical service, water, sewer, gravel pad for $50 a night on average. So that's site number 24. Up here it says up to six adults plus six children and two pets are allowed. If I want to go get one of their adventure tents on the left hand side where it says unit type I can click in adventure tent search availability and it tells me lots of more available and I can blow this up again and I can see down here where their tents are that one's taken but there's a lot of them that are available and again you can click on that this one happens to have a picture six adults plus five children that's tent 01 and it tells you that they have a fire pit, a grill, it's handicapped, which I believe they all are, picnic table, and their waterfront, $35 per night. Just click on the blue book button and follow the instructions. Make your reservation. It's easy. And we're going to head down to the launch area. A windy day. Now that's the turnpike right there. So you do have road noise at the campground. And it's pretty significant. Outside, but not inside. No, I don't hear it inside, but outside you do. They do not allow ATVs into the Mother Nature area. Like you see over here. No ATVs are allowed. There is extra parking over here. You can park your trailer for your boat. You can park extra vehicles over here if you need to. Oh, it's got a rough road. <laughs> right underneath the turnpike, man. Handicap parking. Oh, that's good. And there's your dock. Hey, you know, I, I heard Zippy could float. Uh, let me out. <laughs> Apparently, the water is up right now. Well, not all the way up, but it's, no. it's not all the way up, is it? The tide is not all the way in. Yeah. 
so there is a lot of extra parking back here, so that's good. We were almost thinking about putting... Oh, there's a trail over here, Dave. Yeah, it's hot. Can you swing by that? We were almost thinking about putting Leroy back here. But yeah. Not, not needed. I don't know why I couldn't just park over here in this. Well, you know, you probably could, but they have this thing about don't park on the grass. Probably so they can cut it all the time, keep it nice and cleaned up. What's down this road here, Dave? I don't know. Let's go down it and see. You think we can? Yeah. It's intense. Let's go see them. Yeah, you know, they have like this. Oh, check them out. Oh, there's one right there. Let me get out. There's Taurus right there. Okay. Hey, buddy. You're running from me. I'm okay. I'm not going to hurt you. But you can see how they've got multiple bridges and stuff. Another one here, buddy. Got another turtle up here. Looks like it. Oh, yeah. Wow, there's some nice ones around here. Aww. Want to race? <laughs> Did he stop? Yeah, he stopped. Okay, he's ready to roll then. Okay. Right, Mark, get set, okay, go. go! I think I'm winning. I think Zippy's got him. I think Zippy's got him beat. So you can see more of the bridges leading over to the campsites. Over this bog here. Lily pads. Oh yeah. So this is on the far end of the campground. That's us straight ahead there. We are almost on the very end. We're in number 35. 36 is the last one. Let's go that away. It's like a big loop. So you can have river views, or you can have the bog view, or you can be in the interior and just look at the trees. Check this out. There's a tree growing inside the tree, or that tree grew around the tree, because you look up above and you can see a palm tree is in the middle of that, what is that, an oak tree? Yeah. That is wild. Over here they've got some picnic areas, extra parking, that's why you saw Leroy back there. Oh, we can call it a bog, it's more like a pond. A pond? Oh, we call it a bog because of all the lily pads and stuff. Ah. You know they got alligators and stuff in there. Oh yeah. There's things and in there that'll kill you. We'll come up in here and take a look at the bathrooms. This is all quite new. Used to be very rusty camping out here and then they turned it into full hookups and such. And this is their new bathhouse. Go take a look at it. And everything has a code. When the gates close in the evening, you put your code in, and the same code is used for the bathrooms. Okay. Oh, this is nice. So you have your own toilet, sink, and big shower. We got hooks, and a bench, and a wand. But Dave said the water doesn't last very long. It's uh, he, he hasn't been able to use it several times because there's been somebody in here. Water doesn't last long, unfortunately. And here is their laundry. You can also fill up your water bottles here. And here's their laundry. Appears to be two dollars. And they take points. Three dryers, three washers. That is yeah, a couple of them are out of service. Folding tables. And it's air conditioned. Nice and clean. So this is kind of the center of the park. Some of the inside areas that you can get a campsite. Water straight ahead there. The road is definitely rough here. There's Zippy's red-headed stepchild brother. <laughs> From Canada. 
this is along the water. Nice palm trees. They keep this campsite, they keep this campground really clean, except for the roads. <laughs> they need to fill them bad boys in. They surface it. Yeah. But it does keep you slowed down. See that? Just laying out on your coma chairs, looking at the river. On the inside, they're they're all about what do you think, 65 feet long? About that. Don't want to park anything on the grass though. And as we exit, you will see the little guard shack that you check into. Over here, you'll see the locks. The St. Lucie River. Somebody probably lives in this house, maybe. I don't know. But there's your check-in area. And this is leaving through the gate. And you can see they got the stands out here so you can punch the code in any time that the gates are closed. This is the closest dock near the locks, which are right there. We have seen sailboats, big boats, little boats, fishing boats, all coming through here. Water's down right now. This is brackish water. And this is the St. Lucie River. The park is right behind us here. Well, that water looks clean. I wouldn't want to drink it, but yeah. <laughs> I'm sure there's alligators in there. But you can come down here and go fishing as well. They have another dock further down, which you can't see from here because it's around the corner. We're on the far end over here. We just took a little walk down here. They have a nice walking path where you can see like that fence all along the river here. It has been cloudy this winter in Florida and only getting into the 70s most days. Pretty dreary, but it beats the weather in other parts of the states. Everybody's been cold this year across the nation. There's a nice boat going down the river. We met Clem and Kim while we were at this park. Actually, Clem approached us because he was a follower of ours and asked if he could interview us. And of course we said yes. And he created two videos for his YouTube channel. Check out the best How To Buy Clem's YouTube channel. Found out that they were volunteers at the St. Lucie Visitor Center so we decided to take a visit. It's just around the corner from the campground and is well worth the trip. And you can see the locks while you're there. There's another one. Gotta watch for these critters. Why did the turtle cross the road? <laughs> Let's ask him. Probably got a girlfriend over here. Mm-hmm. Hot date. <laughs> now if you keep coming straight down this St. Locks Road, you will eventually run into the St. Lucie Lock and Dam. Let's go down to the right. Visitor Center. Visitor Center. Here we go. Let's go check out the Visitor Center. Both of them are here today. Two people. Just come on in. <laughs> this is Clem and Kim, and they working at the Visitor Center here at St. Lucie 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 at the St. Lucie Locks. This is really a nice center. And Clem came over and did a video on us the other day, and I will link that in the description below. And Clem has his own YouTube channel, and it's called? The Best How To's by Clem, and it's all about RV living. And Kim has her own YouTube channel as well. Yes, and we do this together, Clem and I, and it's all about food and places. So you get the fun stuff and he yes. gets the how to fix stuff. Yes. yes. Okay. Well, we appreciate you guys showing us around in the visitor center. No problem. We hope you enjoy your stay. So yeah. You guys got to cool. come down. It's a small and quaint facility. Mm -hmm. It's only nine RV sites, three primitive tent sites, and it's got eight boat slips. And then it's got nature trails on the other side, the locks. It's just like a miniature Panama Canal. And That's you guys would truly enjoy it. Yes. And the thing here is that 
if you got the America the Beautiful Pass, it's 50% off, you know, $15 a site. Can't beat that. Yes. Absolutely. Yes, yes. And this museum here, a lot of people don't know about this. Yeah, we didn't. And then you can eat out there and watch the tarpons roll. That's what I like. Ah, <laughs> awesome. Well, we'll put both of your YouTube channel links you. in the Wonderful. description below. Thank you. Y'all check them out. All right. Thanks a lot. Soon. But this canal, it's called the C44 that's outside here. It actually connects East Coast to West Coast. And so it's typically called the East-West Expressway for boaters mm -hmm. because they can come from the West and come to the East and vice versa. Mm -hmm. So here's a map. We're located right here in St. Lucie Lock and Dam. So we're on the eastern side of it. And they, this is an area where we have the campgrounds and we have boat slips. The next one, as they go down, the red shows the different paths that the boaters can take or, or, or drivers, but, uh, either way. But as they come across, Ortona Lock and Dam is another place where it's a we campsite. And then W.P. Mm -hmm. Franklin is our furthest one to the west side. And we visited that one. So when you, um, want to do your if this is your first time, there's a history there about the locks just behind the wall. And the rest is a museum. That it's a self-guided tour. You can push, pull, oh, touch. That's sweet. He'll never drown. At least not face down. So there's our campground from the visitor center. And that was the little deck that we walked down yesterday that I showed you. And that's how close we are. And then of course, from the visitor center, you can see the locks. So the water's higher on this side. So they're letting the water in kind of slowly just to bring it up so they can let them out over there on that side, which is lower. There we go, now we're starting to open. It's pretty neat to think you can go all the way from the Gulf Coast to the Atlantic Ocean. Got it filled up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's starting to move now. Yeah, he's making a move now, yeah. Pretty neat little way of doing things. Mm -hmm. They're opening up this gate. Gonna let the water back out. And I'd say if you're looking at the water line there, it's probably dropped 15 feet. This whole thing took what about 30 minutes? Yeah, probably. 
and off he goes. Mm-mm-mm. It's chow time. There are three very fresh cafes in this area, Port St. Lucie, Jupiter, and Stewart. It is one of the best places we have ever eaten for breakfast. Their food is made from scratch, and many of their foods are sourced locally for authentic farm-to-table freshness. They serve breakfast, brunch, and lunch seven days a week. It's a casual, relaxed atmosphere, and they do have a dog-friendly outdoor seating. Not only is the food excellent, so is the service. Hey, Dave. What do you think of Berry Farms' homemade hash? Most excellent. Most excellent. Mm -mm -mm. If you like Greek food, you have to go to Mr. Garrow's. It's an authentic family-owned modern Greek Mediterranean restaurant located in Stewart, Florida. We thought it was excellent. Then we took our spiders up to Fort Pierce to check out Krabby's Dockside Restaurant. It has a nice second floor view of, of the Fort Pierce Inlet and surrounding Indian River Lagoon. They have some awesome drinks and food there. Then you can grab a scoop of Sweet Willie's ice cream on your way out. Now this is the Army Corps St. Lucie campground, which is right next to the lots, right next to Phipps Park, where we're staying. I couldn't get a site in here. There's only nine sites. They're always full. They have boat slips that you can rent as well. How many months in advance can you? Six months. Six months. And you got plenty of places to park your trailer or your truck if you happen to have an HDT. St. Lucie Campground is located on the St. Lucie Canal, part of the 152-mile Okeechobee Waterway that spans South Florida from the Atlantic Ocean to the Gulf of Mexico. Campers can enjoy watching boats and the occasional manatee pass through the St. Lu Lucie Lock. The St. Lucie South Campground offers nine total RV sites, of which three are in the water, and there are three tent sites with electricity. Plus, there's eight cruiser sites for boat campers with water and electric, and you must sleep on your boat. All RV and cruiser sites have 50 amp electric and water hookups. The trailer dump station is on site for your convenience and of course, don't miss the visitor center. RV sites are $30 a night, tent sites are $20 a night, and you get 50% off if you have America the Beautiful Senior card. Make your reservations at recreation.gov up to six months in advance and choose your site. Things you need to know, campground access gate opens at 6 a.m. and closes at sunset. Campground quiet hours, are from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. Checkout time is 11, check-in time is at 12. Campers are limited to one RV trailer sewer dump per week of stay, a maximum of two times in a 14-day period. Portable blue holding tanks may dump unlimited times during their stay. Campsites have maximum occupancy of eight people per site and don't move the firewood. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. We'd love to hear from you in the comments below, even if it's just to say hi. Don't forget to subscribe.